Chair, now I recognize the gentlelady from Colorado, uh, Ms. Bobert, for five minutes for her question. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. It's clear that far left policies driven by progressive DC council members are having a deteriorating effect on education standards, rising crime, and increased financial instability in our nation's capital. Last Congress, Democrats only had one single hearing with a DC council member witness, and it was related to their pursuit of statehood, not actual oversight. Mr. Allen, you stated public safety is a priority for you and police are essential to reducing crime, yet your policies restrict and weaken law enforcement officers' ability to keep the public safe. You demand more help from police in tweets like this one, yet you strip law enforcement's funding with budget squeezes. Mr. Lee, how much were, was the Metropolitan Police Department's operational budget uh, cut from 2020 to today? It's my understanding it's uh, roughly 20, 25 million dollars. So the statistics I have, Mr. Lee, um, from the DC Fiscal Re Policy Institute state that from 2020 to current, um, MPD's operational budget has been cut by more than 61.5 million dollars. Mr. Allen, you even called to reduce MPD's budget, as we've heard today, by $15 million in 2020 after the Antifa-led George Floyd riots. Sir, you are defund the police. Chairman Mendelson, you stated Mendelson. that there is not a crime crisis Correct. in DC. Correct. I would disagree. Mr. Allen, you even seconded the chairman's statements today and went as far to say that DC is strong and vibrant. Do you stand by that comment? Do you stand by seconding those remarks? The chairman's already stood by his remarks with his response. The District of Columbia is incredibly strong and vibrant, yes. Do you agree that there is not a crime crisis in Washington, DC? As I outlined in my testimony, we've seen reductions in both violent crime and property crime, except for two I, main categories. I would disagree, so that's very troubling. Homicides. Let's start with a few statistics. Sure. From 2022 to 2023, sex abuse cases increased by 110 percent. To 38, from, a total of 38. From 110 percent, Mr. Chairman, yes. that is alarming. Even 1 percent is alarming and should not be happening, especially when you were cutting MPD's funding and limiting them to protect people from these sexual assaults. Congresswoman, 2022, I'm just to... reclaiming my time, sir. It's my time. 2022 to 2023, homicides in D.C. increased by 23%. 2022 to 23, carjackings, not car thefts, carjackings increased by 108%. Chairman Mendelson, do you, do you still stand under oath and state that there is not a crime crisis in Washington, D.C.? Yes, because if you look at carjackings, it's remarkable. for example, it's absolutely let's remarkable. look at robberies overall. I, I, I'd like to robberies talk about, Mr. Down. thank you. Mr. Allen, based on these statistics, I, I, I would like to talk to you um, about some, some other things um, that are going on here in Washington, D.C., specifically an initiative that you led. In November of 2022, you led the charge to reform D.C.'s crime laws. Is that correct? I chaired the committee that that proposal came from. You led us. this charge, yes, sir. And uh, these charges, these changes, are now law here in D.C., correct? Do you mean the revised criminal code? Yes. Uh, no, those are not the law. Those are not the law. Did, with you, the, you the revised, revised you, you criminal code them. was uh, rejected by... Excuse me, Mr. Chairman, I'm talking to Mr. Allen. Yes, Mr. Allen, did you or did you not decriminalize public urination in no, Washington, D.C.? Did you lead the charge to do so? No, it, the revised criminal code left that as a criminal charge. Did you lead the charge to decriminalize public urination in Washington, D.C.? No, ma'am. Did you ever vote code, in or... favor of decriminalizing public urination in Washington, D.C.? The revised criminal code that was did passed you by the ever council support... kept it as a criminal offense. Did you, did, and you support this? Criminal... I voted for it, yeah. You voted to keep it as a criminal offense. That's correct. The full council did. We have records that show that you were in favor of removing that criminal offense and allowing public urination. 
No. The is that something that you intend to pursue in the future? No. The legislation that you're referring to that came from the Criminal Code Reform Commission changed public urination from a criminal to a civil offense. The council then changed that to maintain it as a criminal offense at the request of the mayor. Thank you. I yield.